Bonjour, je m'appelle Marie-Hélène, je suis responsable de l'éducation à la Fondation FI et on se trouve dans l'exposition de Libé Union. Hi, my name is Amanda. I work in the education department at the Phi Foundation. And today, Marie-Hélène and I are going to talk about certain elements of Li Bei's artistic process in his charcoal works. What I find so intriguing about these large-scale charcoal drawings is the fact that they're so vibrant. You know, you can really feel the movement and the energy in the work that you would think that it was done in a spontaneous motion. But that's, that's not at all the case, right? When we think about uh, Li Bei's process for this work, he does a whole bunch of preparatory sketches, you know, many, many smaller scale drawings until he finds the trace that he wants to pursue and then he'll repeat the gesture over and over again until it becomes really ingrained in his body. And only then does he create the final work. So what we're looking at is the product of repetition and um, an embodied memory of that repetition. Oui, c'est ça, c'est la répétition vient activer la mémoire du corps puis donne accès à l'ébé à une part euh, secrète, inconsciente, euh, qui est enfouie euh, en lui. Um, Libé dit que la répétition lui permet de, de s'oublier soi-même. Dans la culture coréenne, la répétition, euh, c'est très important. C'est par l'entremise de celle-ci que on entre graduellement en contemplation. Par exemple, les moines euh, pratiquent la répétition, les musiciens, les philosophes. Yeah, it's interesting to think about where repetition can bring us, you know, to a really a deeper place. I often think of a dancer who's practicing their choreography, you know, practicing their movements over and over again until it becomes automatic. They don't have to think about what they're doing. Their body just knows what they're doing. And it, there's so many of Li Bei's works that are so gestural. Uh, if we look at, at the work over here, for example, this, uh, this drawing, you know, the movement is so strong. Uh, you can really imagine Li Bei with his big piece of charcoal, just his entire arm, his entire body has to move in a certain way to create this gesture. Uh, and Li Bei does talk about his work as a performance, you know? Um, so there's, you know, this other element of performance that's so important, which is time. Um, Li Bei has also stated that for him, gesture is time, which is a really interesting idea to unpack. You know, you can think of time um, unfolding as gestures are being made, but also this idea that they're kind of chasing each other, you know? There's, there's time that's chasing gesture and gesture chasing time in this cycle until they catch up to each other and just become one and the same. Oui. La temporalité cyclique, on la retrouve dans toute l'exposition, en fait, à travers tout son travail. Il y a une œuvre dans l'exposition qui s'appelle « Dessin », puis l'artiste a dessiné 24 kakis. Puis le kaki, c'est un fruit qui est très, très commun dans son village natal à Chongdo, en Corée du Sud. Il les dessine à différents degrés de mûrissement, tantôt un petit peu plus déformé, bosselé, tantôt plus mûr. On voit la vie du fruit qui, euh, qui est toujours en évolution, en fait, sans cesse. Donc, ouais, le temps est cyclique pour les baies, puis on, on, on le ressent nous aussi, en fait, on connecte aussi sur la temporalité de la nature quand on, on est en contact avec son travail. Mm -hmm. These elements that we're talking about today in his process, the ideas of, of repetition, of memory, of time and of gesture, they really come back in all of his work, um, in his sculptural work too. You know, if we take a look at these sculptures from Issy du Feu, the whole process that he has to go through of selecting each individual pine tree that he wants to work with, of burning it over the two-week period in his ovens, and then giving it the time to cool down, and finally wrapping them in the black cord. You know, there are all of these repeated uh, gestures and, and motions, and the memory of all of those gestures and the time that it takes, it's just another example of his choreographic practice. Completely. Puis en fait, ça se répercute dans notre rapport aux œuvres. Euh, tout au long de l'exposition, euh, on ressent ça également. Cet effet de répétition, d'approfondissement. L'artiste, d'ailleurs, va parler de son travail comme étant composé d'unités très distinctes, mais aussi ces unités-là sont 
intimement interrelié, puis euh, il conçoit toute l'exposition comme un écosystème. D'ailleurs, les œuvres ont beaucoup euh, les, des titres similaires. Donc, plus on se déplace dans l'exposition, plus on ressent toujours des effets d'écho et de résonance de pièces qui sont assez similaires, mais qui ont toujours des déclinaisons euh, différentes. Donc, c'est toujours un peu ce jeu-là. And it all comes back to the title of the exhibition, really, which is union, right? This idea that everything is connected, everything is united, um, from the birth of the works all the way to the reception of the viewers. It's quite a beautiful idea.